Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX, technology connected. Hey guys, this is Jacob at the EVJ Suite. We're looking at some of the new products that we're showing off at CES 2014. So the first thing we have here is the EVJ Hadron Hydro case. This case actually is shipping today. Uh, this case was designed for, to accommodate water cooling and also be a very small form factor. So you, can, you can see in there we have the CPU, we have a CPU water block, we have a uh, GPU water block, everything being uh, cooled off a dual 120 millimeter radiator. We also sell the uh, water cooling kit separately, so it includes a CPU block, includes the water pump, a reservoir, tubing, even coolant, and the radiator, of course. Uh, 219 and the cooling kit is 179. We also have some other products that we're showing off. Uh, something brand new for CES is the EVJ X10 gaming mouse. This mouse was designed with the highest quality components including real carbon fiber, but we also have a version that does not have carbon fiber if you uh, prefer to have the non-carbon fiber look, but this does have re real carbon fiber. We also use uh, very high quality switches and uh, we actually use silver wire inside the cable. So silver wire is approximately 5% better conductivity than copper, so we just wanted to make sure that we have the uh, best components uh, in this mouse. So it also uses a, a Vago 9800 laser sensor, which gives it 8200 DPIs, has adjustable weight system, and it also has adjustable sizing system. So if you use a torque wrench and uh, put it in there and turn it a bit, you'll uh, increase the size of the mouse or decrease the size of the mouse to accommodate your hand better. So it does have the customizability for the user. Uh, what's the price difference between the two mice? We haven't finalized the pricing between the two mice, but uh, the pricing should be relatively close, but uh, the main difference is you'll be paying a little bit more for the copper version just because that one will be a little bit more rare and copper is just uh, more expensive to manufacture material. Right, and uh, it also has a weight adjustable system inside, right? Yep, they uh, have a adjustable so weight systems. If you take off the top uh, cover, can you show us how? Okay. Yep, so you just and it's magnetic, so you pull off the weight, uh, the cover here, and uh, the weights insert right in here. And then you can uh, just kind of snap that back on just like that. The uh, LED is also full RGB, so you can change the uh, LED lighting to you know, red or yellow or blue, or just turn it off if you prefer to have uh, no lights on your mouse. Right. Another new product that we recently launched is the EVJ DisplayPort Hub. So uh, it's a pretty simple device. What it is, is it, you take one display port off your graphics card and it gives you three display ports. So you can connect up to three monitors from one display port. Maximum resolution 1080p each at 60 hertz. So for most of the monitors on the market today, if you only have a single display port on your graphics card or laptop, it's a, a pretty good option. What's the price point? It's it's $99. And uh, the, your computer will be able to recognize all monitors. Right, so the computer recognizes all three monitors independently. So just as if you had three monitors connected, Windows will recognize it just as three monitors. You can configure the resolutions independently, change the locations of the monitors and the, re and the refresh rates, all that kind of stuff. Does it need external power? Yes. So right there is where the power is. And, uh, and what's the scan? Just like so sometimes, this doesn't happen very often, but sometimes if you're in Windows, for whatever reason, the the uh, monitors are not being detected, you can hit that button to redetect the displays that are connected. Okay, so this is the EVJ GeForce GTX 780 Ti Kingpin Edition. So we work directly with uh, Kingpin. He is a very famous overclocker in the overclocking community. He helped co-develop this product with EVGA. A couple of things that we did is uh, really optimize it for the enthusiast overclocker. Uh, so for example, up on here you see we have dual 8-pin plus a 6-pin power input. Gives a lot, of, a lot of power necessary for the GPU. We also have a uh, connector here for monitoring the voltages in real time with a voltmeter. That you provide. Right, that's right, yep. And uh, we also ship it with a backplate. So it comes with a backplate already on the board. There is a lot of improvements under the hood as well that um, are really geared for the enthusiast overclocker. A couple other things we did is we increased the fan size, so we increased it by just a little bit, give it a little bit more cooling power. Uh, but uh, ultimately this card was designed for uh, the extreme overclocker, so those using liquid nitrogen or water cooling. It also has uh, 14 power phases, so we really beefed up the power circuitry, and uh, so here's a, here's a shot of the PCB. 
We also handpick the GPUs that are put on this board. So the ones that uh, go on the Kingpin card, they are a little bit more cherry picked. You know, maybe maybe better overclockers. And of course, this card supports up to four-way SLI. So this is the card that he was able to uh, break 1,900 megahertz on. Mm -hmm. So this has three gigabytes, okay. right? Yeah. Um, as as of today, the only card that has six gig is the GTX Titan. All right, so that's been uh, EVGA at CES 2014. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.